And now, Storm Tracker weather with East Idaho's Chief Meteorologist, Doug Iverson. A little bit of snow on the radar map. You can see snow showers over Clark County spreading across Fremont County. Now it's starting to punch in across the Big Hole Mountains, which is that mountain range just east of Rexburg or just to the west of Driggs and Teutonia, right over the Tetons. This will eventually pick up some steam and even pick up a little bit more snow as it moves down the Valley Plain. We're expecting that to happen, at least in the Pocatello area between 9 and 10. We'll see what happens. It's going to be a quick shot of snow. It's not going to last all night long, but we'll certainly get some measurable. Won't be a big snowmaker, but enough to let you know that uh, winter is definitely just around the corner officially. Let's have a look at the wider shot of satellite radar map. You can see a lot of clouds, a lot more moisture will work its way down and probably combine with that later this evening. I think most of this will be out of here by tomorrow morning before sunrise, but we could have some lingering snow showers over the oh, upper highlands, western Wyoming and the southeast corner tomorrow morning. And then all that punches off towards the south and east uh, by tomorrow afternoon. So tonight, that's about it. Then pretty quiet and colder for the weekend. We will not see 50 degrees like we're seeing right now in Pocatello. So enjoy. 39 in Jackson, West Yellowstone already 28, 21 in Butte. So that's that colder air. We're going to get a little bit of that tomorrow and it will linger through the weekend, especially during the nighttime is when you'll notice it. Tonight's temperatures not too bad out there, mainly in the 20s overnight. Of course, snow is likely widespread anywhere from a trace. That's a skiff, barely measurable. Well, not even really measurable. A measurable is about a tenth of an inch to about an inch. Now, with that said, Maybe the bench areas may see more than an inch. Depends how long the band of snow works in. If it gets caught up against the mountains as it pushes south, it may linger. And if it lingers, then we could get a little more snow, especially along the mountain areas around Pocatello. Now for the central mountains, the snow will be hit and miss, traced to an inch for those areas that will get snow. For the upper highlands, of course, snow likely. You're already seeing that for some of the upper highlands. One to three inches of snow tonight. For the southeast highlands, snow likely one to three inches. Now the Tetons could get up to six inches. So good news for Grand Targhee and Jackson Hole Mountain Resort. There's a chance of snow showers in the morning for the southeast highlands. So down you may see some snow, maybe snow in the morning. Chance of snow in the morning too in Island Park and over in Jackson, Yellowstone, 24, 37. So colder temperatures tomorrow, mainly sunny for the central mountains. And then we got clouds tomorrow morning for the Snake River Plain, but don't worry. Sunshine will quickly move in, probably midday. High temperatures, upper 30s to the lower 40s. Seven-day forecast, look ahead into Sunday. Looking pretty cold tomorrow night. We're back in the teens. And then we'll hit 50 on Wednesday. Now for Thanksgiving Day, mostly cloudy and 50. For Black Friday, there's a possibility of rain and snow. Now for the seven-day forecast, we're a little colder on Sunday for Idle Falls. And we'll keep those highs in the 30s on Monday. Warming up a bit by Wednesday. Not bad for the holiday, but the day after could get a little bit wet. Teton area seven-day forecast. Chance of snow tomorrow morning. And then we are cold at night. Lows in the next several nights will be in the single digits. For the central mountains, we're dry tomorrow. Well, in fact, we'll stay dry clear through Wednesday. Now, Thanksgiving Day, rain and snow possible. Black Friday, a chance of snow.